On the next stop of our food tour around LA, we've arranged to meet up with Wusan, aka Sammy, the legendary lead singer of The Rose. He's a beautiful man. So I, for one, am excited. Not because he's beautiful. Okay. I don't know, that came out weird. <laughs> I think we're going somewhere fancy as well. I don't have a shirt, but I do have a British accent, oh, and that goes a long yeah. way. Good day to you, sir. What a fine gentleman you are. <laughs> Hey, look who it is! Oh, Hello. Hello. This is called Inner Crew. It's like a lounge, bar, restaurant place that I come to. We got a nice room for us today. We've been filming with YouTubers this whole time. Uh, we've, oh. gone, we've gone up a class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yogi's all over the The boardroom. The VIP treatment. The VIP treatment, uh, yes. I am ready to make some corporate decisions. Okay. Oh, yes, let's have gonna... a... <laughs> We've come a long way since Taco Bell, Ollie. Yeah. We've come a long we way have. Since Taco we Bell. have. To get a place like this big and like kind of luxurious looking yeah. in K-Town, yeah. it was it's hard to find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to basically be a serious rising star. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Let's go. Your ultimate okay. recommendation. So for starters, we'll do the burrata toast. We'll also do the Caesar salad. For the main, we'll do the wagyu bolognese, uni. We'll do how much? Can I also do the mussels and the, for the bread, you dip it. We have to do the fried chicken. We'll do the Japanese wagyu sampler. We'll do every single one of the cocktails. It's all right. Yeah. One of each. One of each. This guy's not messing around. I already have a favorite drink. Okay. But okay. when it comes out, we'll yeah. yeah, now we'll find wow. out. I don't think I've ever seen Josh more happy. And I was there on his wedding day. Oh, I was his really? best man. You are speaking my language. Yeah. This is. I love that. Straight to my heart. Oh my gosh. Wow. Amazing. Burrata. Tukong burrata. Like one tukong? Oh, one tukong? I do love one tukong. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. It's a great starter. That is. It's like it's sweet. Mm -hmm. mm. You've never had uni before, have you? I don't know what uni is. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, it's auntie. <laughs> uni is how many? Onni. 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 Close. So it looks like this. Yeah. That's a sea urchin. Yeah. It's a sea urchin. Sorry. I hate those guys. Yeah. Well. I stepped on one. <laughs> oh in no. In Cornwall <laughs> once. They are tasty. One of my favorites. I'm gonna enjoy my sweet revenge on this. <laughs> That is rich. What a flavor. Mm -hmm. I really oh, like wow. the taste of uni. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. That is really good. Oh, I'm glad. How can they be that evil in life? And that, that tasty so in death. <laughs> it's a give and you know? take. It's a give and take. <laughs> so, Sammy, you've been a singer for a while now. For a while, yeah. yeah. First season of K-pop star? Yes, that is where I started. Oh, hey! Oh, gee. Yeah. Honestly, for me, music wasn't my main thing that I was pursuing in high school. Right. I actually cool. wanted to be a psychologist, and that's wow. what I was hoping that my major would be in college. And then my mom took me to this Korean church, and I got to meet friends that were my age. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were like, yo, Sammy. You know, K-pop, there's this group called 21, 2 p.m., Big Bang, and, and I got into that. And then they were like, hey, there's this audition. You know, we know how to all play the guitar and sing. We should right. all go audition. It's going to be awesome. We're going to meet more friends. I was actually more of a dancer than a you know, okay. singer. You must okay. be so talented if yeah, singing is not. your third okay. talent. <laughs> so Have I, you heard no, this guy? I was not that good at singing, though. We honestly didn't think we were going to make it. It was not... You know, very serious. I just practiced one song. That's how it all started. I passed, they came to my house, they shot the whole thing with my family. <laughs> and as I got to do the show, I built this relationship with music where I wanted to actually take it seriously. So that was almost your musical self discovery, was yeah. through doing a freaking reality TV show about, <laughs> about yeah, making uh, it in music. Yeah. I mean, it's so crazy. I mean, 18, 19, that, you're young at this point. Gone over to Korea mm. as a trainee. Not gonna lie, it was, uh, it was the hardest time um, for sure yeah, in my it life. Tough. Yeah. It was very tough. Going into it head on, like mm. graduating and going right to Korea, mm -hmm. being in this storm. You know, I didn't have free time. The, the whole building was wow. like my jail almost. So I, I was on the sixth floor. The fifth floor was a practicing room. And then the fourth floor was where the cafeteria was. The only time I could leave is when I go to the gym. <laughs> wow. So it became a thing where I started to kind of lose my purpose and what I was here for. Yeah. You know, I didn't even know if I was doing music anymore. And after like a year, I started becoming really, really depressed. 
Um, and I kind of lost who I was there. After that, I, I came out of the company. I was like, you know, I can't stay here longer, three years. I, I went into teaching English here and there. I, I wanted to stay in Korea because I couldn't go back. I felt like I was like a failure in a way. Oh my gosh. The good thing though, after all these years, when yeah. I think back at it is like, once I lost myself, I truly got to see who I could be. You know, I think you would have been a good psychiatrist. Thank you. Listening to the way you're talking. Yeah, genuine. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. genuine. I don't Thank know whether you. I've self-examined my own thoughts in my entire life as much as you have in the last <laughs> five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I don't want to. Let's not go there. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> wow. Truffle so mac and cheese. Truffle oh. mac and cheese. Smell like. So much of the truffle is that smell. There you go. I love yeah. that smell. Oh, what's wow. this? I didn't even know we ordered this. Jumbo shrimp. Oh, Look yeah, at the that's... size of that too. That is incredible. Oh, it looks like the emoji. <laughs> You're right, it does look <laughs> like an emoji. It's like a shrimp emoji. <laughs> it does. Was there ever a point you were like, you know what? This is not worth it. I don't, I don't really want to be a singer. Actually, when I was uh, there teaching English for a little bit, for six months, I, I wasn't listening to music at all. Uh, music related things, I was not looking at, hearing, wow. nothing. Because I was so sick of it, right? I was like, not even wow. listening to music. I mean, honestly, it hurt me. Not being able to make that happen for myself was awesome. really, uh, it hurt me a lot at that age. And then six month mark hits and I get an offer from the, from the Hagwan. They're like, hey, uh, I think you were, you're doing a good job. We're gonna give you a raise. And I was like, I was conflicted at this point because then I feel like, I felt like if I took that job, that's, that's the end. Like right. that's gonna be my, you know. It's like a, a fork in the road, is yeah. it? Yeah, that was gonna be like, okay, I'm invested. Because once I take that job and take that responsibility, there's no going back. Yeah, right. there's no way you can be a psychiatrist yeah. after that. Oh, no, <laughs> nothing like that, nothing like that. <laughs> that's the moment that really got me back to thinking about music. I started listening to music again. I bought a whole new mic, a okay. guitar amp, yeah. everything so I could record music now, I could make music. And I fell in love all over again. Wow, man, this is an incredible story. This, I was this, this, yeah. this. Sorry guys, this Seriously. is too serious, no? No, like, let's it's, eat. Nice. Let's it's eat amazing. Meat, guys. Okay. Oh, so a little bit of today. little bit of salt, guys, and a little bit of wasabi, I think, I believe oh. that is. Oh. Oh. When you started writing music, what was the first song you wrote? Actually, it's funny. Yeah. I have a video out on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's called Beautiful Girl. Mm -hmm. I wrote it when I was 20. Fast forward and show my company this song. They're like, oh, you, got, you already have a video. Let's make a video just like that, but now. So we put out the song, actually. I, I was so against putting out the song because it was like, yo, I wrote this like yeah. such a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, it's yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. It's called Beautiful Girl. That was my first song that I ever finished. So this is where the rose comes into the story, right? Yeah, this is the rose era. How did you guys meet? Tojuni, Cheong, and Hajun. They were trainees in all different companies. Oh, they were all trainees? In different companies. So you had like the, a shared trauma. Yeah, like, I mean like different traumas, but maybe yeah. yeah, like yeah. It, there was a a, a, something that we could, you know, kind of come to, made us come together. Yeah. So Tojuni and Cheongi and Hajuni meet, started busking. They were like looking for a singer. So then one day we all meet because we're all drinking together. Tojuni gets to see my K-pop star days. He hits me up, he's like, hey, uh, you can sing. Yeah, you can sing. <laughs> you can play the electric guitar. We need that. And they started pitching their band to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I heard it and I was like, there's no way. <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Okay. I was like, definitely don't want to go back into doing group things when I finally got to do some solo things. I'm not Why? ready. And then Tojuni, you know, being Tojuni, uh, he was like, okay, well, um, then can you help us with one show? One show, just we, we just need to do the show at home. The classic rolling house. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the, it's one the show. whole like, let's do each other, just one drink. Yeah, yeah. Just one drink. drink. And then before you know it, it's like 6 a.m. Just one cocktail. Yeah, you're just... on like freaking Beck Cha. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Not... One drink, guys. <laughs> I go into practice with them and they're like, okay, just play like F, like G, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And they started and it's like, right now, F. And I, and I rung that F. I played it. And as I played the F, and when all the sounds came together to my ears, yeah. it made sense. I was like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I told him right there, wow. I was like, let's do it. Then I did the show, quit my job, talked to people that, I, there were companies I was talking to at that point, and mm -hmm. you know, we were talking about solo deals. And I was like, actually, um, I'm only willing to sign if we sign with the Rose. Wow. Amazing. 
This and then, is so cool. This is an amazing story. Yeah. yeah. I thought we were just gonna come and eat some good food. And we, we weren't even called the Rose. You know, we weren't even called the Rose. Okay, we we're called right. Windfall. We only Windfall. Yeah, this right. is a four man band. It's gonna be like okay. this. We want Beatles, Coldplay, everything. Ah, this is gonna right. be that. Everybody we met in the industry, like before we debuted, everybody yeah. was like, hey, this is not gonna work out. Like, you guys have to dance. I was like, right, right, right. Wow. With the guitar. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and we, we had to fight our way uh, to, to make it our song with our debut, uh, first debut song we wrote was called Sorry. That song actually, uh, you know, our, our drummer, Hajin, we we're in the practice room and he was just playing on the piano. He's like, hey, I kind of came up with this melody. I was like, this is it. Wow. I was like, this, we finally have it. And then I wrote the lyrics there, 20 minutes. I was like, okay, it's gonna be called Sorry. It's gonna be da, 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 da. We shared it, we finished up the song. Yeah. And we knew then, we're like, this is it. We did it. It's gonna be huge. This is our song. It's wow. gonna be huge. And we, we let everybody hear it. Ah, like, it's so slow. We didn't care. We already had our mindset. I love this. This is like a true creative yeah. vision. Yeah. Right? And it worked, right? It, it you connected. know what? We got offered our first tour with having one song out, and that song was Sorry. You got an offer to tour. Yeah, we're like, like, what do you guys expect us to do? How do we make like, it? One sense? song? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cover songs? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Like, but the thing is, we, we did write a lot of songs prior to that. Okay. We just haven't yeah. released them. Cool. If you're listening at home, just know that that is the power of a good apology. Right? Okay. They, they, they said yeah. sorry to the world. We did. <laughs> and they we got, were apologizing they got on everybody's behalf. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 2019, you're back on yeah. another singing competition show. Yes. You, uh, you know, I, <laughs> you're a sucker like? for punishment, man. No, I, I, you know what, though? I, I only did that because we could go out as a band. Do you think yeah. there was a part of you that was like, you know what? I'm going to go back with my band that I'm yeah. like, confident oh, with, I know terms. who I am, yeah. Yeah. on my terms, right. Yes, and, and you know, I was so confident because we've been touring a lot. We have already right. toured like 50 cities with, but I didn't know, I was nervous until I went up. I started singing, and right when I started singing, I got so nervous. I think the trauma came back of uh, being at like an audition, and it was a big pressure that I didn't feel up until that stage. Wow. <laughs> I know exactly how yeah. you feel because I've done Not About. Oh yeah. Okay. It's Whatever. all confidence. It's all confidence until you're holding that Similar. microphone. Yes, yes. And you've got an album coming out, right? Moth. It's an EP, four songs. Moth. Moth. One of my least favorite insects. That, okay, that's why I called it moth. Can I okay. explain this? Because yeah. I feel yeah, really strongly about it. Hit me. Please, when you kill them, they're just okay. dust. Like oh how does, my god, how okay. Does it, how, okay. how does it fly? How does dust fly? Okay. <laughs> the okay. main message is that okay. butterflies and moths, they're the same insects, same same category. They basically correct? are. Correct? Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. If you really look at them, very similar creatures. Yeah. yeah. Insects. Uh, yeah. so my point is that butterflies fly in the daytime. They're 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 perceived as touchable, beautiful. They are. But as, as far as moths, they're always flying in the night. Everybody's like, oh that's gross, they're dirty, they try to yeah. kill it, yeah, yeah. they try to crush them and all this. When in fact with the light shining on their print, if they land on a light, their prints are actually as beautiful as butterflies. Wow. wow. And, and, and you know, sometimes we don't notice the true beauty because we're so covered by all these images and all these like things in life yeah. that clouds our judgment. And I really wanted to dive into that perspective of, you know, anything could be beautiful and anything has the right to be beautiful. Wow, I, I really look bad for pooping all over the, yeah. the moths. Well, Sammy. Thank you. This has been amazing. Not I'm only glad. was this like the best food we've had since going to LA, yeah, yeah. this is genuinely one of the most fascinating conversations we've had ever on yeah. the channel. So thank seriously, you. Thank, thank you for you. having me. Thank you guys. Happy yeah, I'm fan. glad you guys enjoyed the food. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see, see you, Jolly, soon. Bye bye. 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 Annyeong. Annyeong. Annyeong.